Well, tomorrow, Friday, the first day of summer, it's not going to be feeling like it, especially if you're uh, planning to head to the mountains. We're looking at winter weather advisories in effect until noon tomorrow. So winter weather advisory for the first day of summer, above 5,500 feet uh, for central Montana there, and then along the divide above 6,000 feet. And you're already seeing lots of blue on the radar already. Some mountain snow falling across the area, and there'll be more where that came from. Also, much more of the rain and uh, the light thunderstorm activity we're seeing a little farther off to the east. So let's take a look at future track. Here's uh, 6 p.m. tonight. Some steadier rains you can pick out are down uh, to the southeast and then off to the southwest, especially south of Bozeman. Seeing likely some pretty heavy mountain snow that lasts through the night tonight. Fortunately, that snow is going to be wrapping up as we head into the day on Friday. But that's when the rain is really getting going. You can see this huge area of steady precipitation in eastern and northeastern Montana. And that's going to kind of spin there through the day on Friday and even into Friday night before some redevelopment as we head into the day on Saturday. So lots of rain chances in the forecast and a good amount of mountain snow in the forecast too. So let's break down that mountain snow first. Our area not too bad, maybe one to three for Kings Hill Pass. So it could get a little bit slippery there some heavier totals in the snowies but it's uh, southwestern montana that's going to see the most out of the snow especially toward the gallatin range some of the high peaks there could pick up about a foot of snow so some pretty significant snow and also some pretty significant rain to fall this is going to help out some of us great falls helena we need the rain we could use the quarter to half inch we're likely to get but uh, we are looking at some excessive rainfall totals of as much as two inches or more for parts of the state and for that reason, an aerial flood watch is actually in effect through Friday night. So even though that part of the state is still pretty dry, we're almost getting too much rain. We're kind of overcorrecting and heading back into the wrong direction toward flooding. Of course, temperatures with snow in the forecast going to be cool, too. We're looking at lows that are pretty close to freezing toward uh, Butte and Dillon tonight. Highs tomorrow, mainly in the 50s and 60s across the state. You'll notice a little cooler off to the east. Well, they'll be dealing with a little more of the rain. And as far as the wind gusts forecast by tomorrow afternoon where that uh, rain is located, pretty breezy too. So Glasgow, Jordan, Mile City, uh, pretty windy, cold, and rainy. Not a nice day there. And, of course, we'll continue to monitor the, the advisories and the watches that are in effect, bring you any updates uh, through the evening. Thanks for watching.